Alrighty, it's your boy Zioxus and we're back with another Goddess of Victory Nikkei video. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about how to build Scarlet and what to prioritize when building Scarlet. Now, as you guys know, this is the only Burst 3 character in the game that I do not own. So maybe you guys might not really fully agree with my opinion just because I do not own her. But don't worry, I have... Now I've never used her, but I've watched multiple videos and stuff. I know how she works and stuff like that. So you can trust my opinion here 1000%. Believe me, please. Um, But yeah, so Scarlet here is one character that a lot of you guys wanted me to do this video for ever since I did the Modernia and Dorothy one. Just because, again, she's a fan favorite, a character that a majority of the people do have besides me, clearly. Um, And it's just an overall good character. So we're going to talk about all her stuff and why you want to build her like this. But before we get into that, make sure you guys subscribe and like if you're new. If you want to join the Discord, the link's in the description. And if you want to be a member, you can click the join button beside my name, in between my name and the subscription button, or the link in the description to also become a member because that supports me as well. But let's go ahead and talk about Scarlet. Now, again, Scarlet is a fantastic character. She's a fantastic character, easily the best DPS in the game. Some people say she's the best character in the game. Some people say she's the second. It just depends on what you would consider the best character in the game. If you consider the best character in the game to be whoever hits the hardest, then that would be Scarlet. If you consider the best character to be someone who has more of a universal, you know, use, obviously Scarlet's still very good, but a lot of people consider Modernia to take that spot. But... We're not going to be talking about that. So Scarlet is a character that really shines because she can actually increase her own attack by a big, big, big amount. A big amount. So at level 10 skills, she can actually increase her attack, her own attack, by 23.15%. And that can stack up to 5 times that lasts for 5 seconds. Now because how this game works, basically that procs, or you get 1 stack every normal 10 normal attacks. If you have five stacks, every 10 normal attack, it resets at five stacks. So basically, if you can get 10 normal attacks to go off for five seconds, or I guess within every five seconds, you're actually going to be able to proc this right here. Now, we're going to be talking about what skills first to uh, prioritize. Now, I would honestly say the skill you want to probably focus on the most is going to be her first skill. Right now, I know her second skill does increase her crit rate and it does do massive AoE damage, but I would say that's the second skill you want to focus on. First, her first skill, second, her burst skill, third, her uh, last skill. Reason being because her last skill doesn't give that much of an increase in terms of the crit damage, and it's only a 30% chance to deal damage to the attacker that actually hits you. It's not something that's really all that dependable. Um, it's not bad, but it's still a 30% chance, it's still a 30% chance out of 100% chance most likely you're not going to proc that, right? Um, but if you do proc it, hey, but if you don't, then you most likely will not proc it, right? Because it's a 30% chance. So it's definitely skill two is the last one you want to focus on. Now, I would say you want to focus on the first one more than the burst skill, just because, again, it's a massive attack buff, right? If you're not in the burst skill, which you're not going to be in there, you're going to be in there every other 40 seconds, right? Because that's how the burst skill works. It just makes sense for you to focus on the next best thing that is going to be there the entire game and that is the first skill there's no cooldown no timer no nothing that starts from the beginning of the game after you land 10 normal attacks and that stacks so it just makes sense for you to focus on skill one more than the burst skill in my opinion but yeah so i would say prioritize skill one first then the burst skill and then skill two in terms of how you want to level up uh the the what's it called her skills now in terms of her cubes i'm gonna actually go to another character just to show you guys how it works for her because i do not own her but for the cube, there's two way or two cubes you want to give her, right? Um, and bef this is before overload gear. Before overload gear, you want to give her most likely the resilience cube, right? Now, the reason why you want to give her the resilience cube is because she needs to be able to reload as quickly as possible. You guys need to remember, she has a five second timer every 10 shots she does every 10 normal attacks she does she has only a five second timer when getting into the reload speed i think her reload speed is um i think base is like 2.3 actually let me pull it up 
I'm actually going to just pull it up real quick. Uh, let's go to burst three. Literally, the only burst three I do not have is her. But uh, let's go to burst three and let's see the timer real quick. I believe for her normal attack, it is a 2.30 second cooldown. That is half of five seconds, right? That's literally half of five seconds. Because there's 60 seconds in a... Come on now. Um, but yeah, that's literally half of five seconds. So... Half of five seconds, your thing is going down and you're reloading. And the other half, you're not going to be able to get 10 bullets in two seconds. So you want to be able to reload as soon as possible, as quickly as possible when using Scarlet. So the Resilience Cube is going to probably just be her best overall. Now, if you do not want to use the Resilience Cube, you could also give her uh, the Bashing Cube just because every 10 rounds she does gain back two bullets, um, which isn't all that bad because after 50 rounds, you're actually getting an extra 10. Basically, after 50 rounds, you recover 10 rounds, depending on your level, right? If it's reload one round, then it's not going to be like that. If it's reload three, then that's even better. But mine is reload two. So after 50 rounds, you're going to recover back 10 rounds, basically. Um, and if you guys do not know, know how that works, after 10 rounds you just get back two bullets right so it's more easier for you guys to understand um so that's what you want to give her before overload gear now after overload gear it's going to be the same thing but kind of reverse you want to give her more bashing cube than resilience cube only because during bashing cube you can actually give her um what's it called ammo capacity max ammo capacity so you could also give her the wingman um, but the reason why I would never recommend the wingman for her is simply because again five seconds is too little Even if you do increase her max ammo capacity by a lot. It's not gonna change anything when you get to What's it called when you get to? The reload right if you increase her max ammo capacity by a lot and then you use all those bullets sure you're gonna have the five stacks but the moment you lose the five seconds or you haven't used 10 sh shots within that five seconds you have to rebuild all of that right and you kind of do not want to drop over a hundred percent attack increase for a character right sorry it's on moderni i just don't have scarlet so i was just trying to explain for you guys right but when you do have overload gear for the people who do not know what overload gear this is overload gear when you have this type of gear for scarlet you want to give her the bashing cube over the resilience cube only because you're going to have the max ammo capacity here right you're going to have the max ammo capacity here so it's not all that bad obviously resilience cube would still work very well um it's actually kind of equal it's either or but you can give them or you can give your scarlet so much max ammo capacity that you might be good with the bastion cube because again every 10 bullets you're going to be recovering it you're going to be recovering a couple of bullets so it's going to probably if you have max ammo capacity on all four pieces you're going to have so much bullets that you're actually going to just be recovering bullets every 10 seconds it's actually going to be insane with scarlet right but if you want to still be very very safe i would highly 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 recommend to continue running the resilience cube just because her cooldown is too long if you don't want to use the resilience cube you can also always use characters like add me but i'll get into that a bit later um actually i guess we got to get into that part now because we just talked about her skills and we talked about her cube so in terms of characters that work best with her add me is going to be one of the best characters to work with her because add me shines in reload speed right now she's a burst she's a burst uh one no She's a burst two character with a 20 second cooldown, but all allies have their reload speed and crit damage increased by a big amount when at level 10, right? Uh, for 10 seconds. So that's going to be a very, very good effect for you to give with um, Scarlet, someone who kind of wants to have the reload speed, right? It's just... It's very, very true. Now, another character is Privity. This girl literally works with, like, everybody in the game. But Privity and Add Me together actually is a nasty combination with Scarlet uh, because you're going to actually be increasing the attack more when you're in a full burst and the reload more when you're in a full burst for all allies. The only problem is their ammo capacity gets cut down in half, which could somewhat hurt Scarlet, but it's not going to be all that bad because, again, your reload speed with Add Me and Privity together is literally going to be next to, like, light speed. Now, one thing about Scarlet that I did not really mention is that she actually loses HP, right? She loses HP every 10 bullets as well i didn't mention that but she does lose his hp every 10 shots so what does that mean you guessed it right you're going to guaranteed want to have a healer with her i would highly recommend rapunzel 
as she is the best healer in the game. But yes, you want to have someone who can recover back that HP for Scarlet because her losing 4% HP every 10 rounds will be very, very bad for her. It's not all that great. You're basically losing HP to do more damage, yes, but you got to remember, by losing all that HP, it's not all that great. So you could either use, again, Rapunzel. If not, you could always use Helm, Helm as well. She's a very good option because... Um, What's it called? On her burst skill, she actually does have allies recover um, a certain percent of HP based on the damage attack, like the damage they've done, which is going to be perfect for Scarlet. And then also the damage is increased when you're in a full burst with Helm as well. So she's a very, very good character to also run with uh, Scarlet. Obviously, Dorothy is a fantastic character for your burst one, and same as Litter. These two are just a given to run with somebody like Scarlet. And then for your burst two, I would highly recommend Add Me for Reload if you don't want to run Resilience. But if you do, then Dala's a very good pick as well because uh, basically with Scarlet you want to be able to increase her attack as l a lot as much as possible. So characters like Dala, characters like Guilty won't really like help her in terms of increasing her attack. But Guilty will be taking all that attack from not well. I guess it doesn't also it doesn't count the buffed attack for Guilty. But your Scarlet will have so much attack that Guilty will actually benefit insanely well from that. So. Guilty is also a very good burst too, but mainly Doll is a character you would want to have with her there, right? But again, guaranteed when using a Scarlet, I would highly, highly recommend the healer just because you you don't want her losing HP so she can die, right? She still does have a 30% chance of proccing mad damage back to the enemy that attacked her, but a 30% chance is just something you cannot rely on. So hopefully you guys found this video helpful in any way, shape, or form if you haven't learned or anything like that. This video will be pretty good for you. Again, I don't have her, so I would understand if you guys do not want to really take my opinion. I don't think me not having her should be a reason why you shouldn't take my opinion, um, honestly, because I just gave you guys straight facts the whole video through literally but yeah you guys definitely know let me know if this video was helpful or not and let me know in the comments what characters you guys want me to make this video for next that's already in the game i do plan on making a how to build slash prioritize like build a character for all the characters that are already out in the game and then obviously future characters that come out so if this video was helpful to any of you guys definitely let me know it's gonna be your boys yuxus and i'll see you guys in the next one i'm out later peace